In this video, I'm going to calculate net side areas uh, under a function using geometric formulas. It says evaluate the following integral by interpreting it in terms of area. Submit your answer as an exact value. So I'm going to assume that this is going to cross the x-axis a couple times in this region negative 3 to 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find those areas by subtracting or by writing the function equal to 0. I want to find where it crosses the x-axis. I subtract 3, I get negative absolute value x minus 2 is equal to negative 3. I divide by negative, I get absolute value x minus 2 is equal to 3. I evaluate this, that would be x minus 2 is equal to 3, or x minus 2 is equal to negative 3. So I'm evaluating the absolute value. So I add 2, I get x is equal to 5, or uh, add the 2 here, I get x is equal to negative 1. So this tells me if I think about this, and I draw a number line here, I'm going to be going from negative 3 all the way up to 7. So I'm going to write negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Uh, yeah, so negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. This is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is 7 here. Let's mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5 here. And negative 1 would be here. So what I want to do is I want to test what is negative 2. Okay, Because I'm trying to see, is the value of this function a positive or negative slope, essentially, in that area? So I'm going to test negative 2. I'm going to test uh, 1. And I'm going to test... 6. Just to kind of see, is it going to be positive or negative area? Am I getting a positive or negative number there? And actually, I'm going to be even more specific. I'm going to, I'm going to test negative 2. I want to pick the number that's directly in between negative 1 and 5. And that would be 0, 1, 2. So I'm going to test 2. And that's going to help tell me what my, my, my height is. So I'm going to say that f of negative 2 is equal to something. I'm going to do f of 2, and I'm going to do f of 6. Because remember, we're doing an absolute value function here, so this is creating triangles in here. So f of negative 2 is going to equal 3 minus absolute value of negative 2 minus 2. When I do the absolute value of negative 4, I get 4. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And then if I do... 2 here, f of 2, I'd have 3 minus absolute value of 2 minus 2. So I get 0 in here, so I just end up with 3. And then if I do f of 6, f of 6 would be um, f of 6 would be 3 minus absolute value of 6 minus 2. I end up with 4, so 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So what it's telling me is these outside two pieces, so between 5 and 7, this is going to be negative area because I'm getting negative numbers there. Uh, and the same thing's true between negative 3 and negative 1. That's negative area. And then in between here, I'm going to get some positive area. Now I've got to figure out what's the height of my triangle. So if I were to graph this thing, what would it look like? Well, basically I would have a, a peak here at, at 2. And how do I know it's a peak at 2? Well, if I were to graph this whole thing, or if I were to plug in 2 here for x, that, I, that's where I got that 2 minus 2 is 0 piece. That's talking about the peak of the triangle. So this would be at a peak of 3. So if I plug in 2 here, I got a peak of 3. And I might, I might just graph this. This will be easier to see if I graph it. So um, I plug in 2, I get 3. So it's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 
let's plug in the endpoints negative 3 and 7 to kind of get the those will be the lowest values. So if I plug in negative 3 and I plug in 7, what do I get? So negative 3 would be 3 minus absolute value of negative 3 minus 2. This is 5, so I end up with negative 2. And then I get 3 minus 7 minus 2. So this is 5 again, so I get again negative 2. So I've got 7, negative 2, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's this point here. And I also get negative 3, negative 2. So this thing would look like so. And so you can see that what we're looking at when I said these were negative areas, it's because they're below the x-axis. And positive area because this area is above the x-axis. Now what's the base, what's the, what's the uh, areas for our triangles? So I know the net area is going to be um, triangle 2, so I'm going to say uh, area of 2, which is positive, minus area of 1 minus area of uh, 3. And I'm going to name this 1, 2, and 3. So if I do the base times height here for each of those, 1 half base times height, I'd get 1 half. The base for this area 2 goes from negative 1 to 5, which would be 6. And then its height was 3. And then I'm going to subtract out the base for this piece is 2. So 1 half so times base, which is 2. And the height is also 2. And then do the same thing here for the last triangle where you have, I kind of have this off, this should be going through 5. Uh, if you plug 5 in here, you get 5 minus 2, which is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0, so I should be zeroing out right there. I kind of have it off a little bit. But that would make my base 2 and my height 2, so I get minus 1 half, 2 times 2. So I end up with 18 over 2, minus 4 over 2, minus 4 over 2, which is going to give you 10 over 2, which is 5. So we get a net area for, of 5.